I'm making this video here because I really haven't seen anyone talk about it. Well, what if you don't got hundreds of dollars to spend for a camera to make your videos? You could start out with a web camera. One thing you want to make sure is that most cameras can shoot up to 640 by 480 resolution video. You don't want a camera that can shoot any higher, number one, because on YouTube or any website, 320 by 240 resolution is how your videos will be viewed at. So having a camera that shoots at any higher resolution is, isn't going to really matter. The first camera I ever used, I spent for around $15, including shipping on eBay, this lab tech. But what I learned is it doesn't matter how much the camera costs. Because I thought this $50 Microsoft web camera would fix the problem. Because my videos would continually skip. And they look choppy in which, in which the movements of my mouth and my bodily movements aren't in sync. And you don't want that. But I learned that when you're using a web camera, it's hooked up to your computer, in which you need a good video card to capture good video. Because typically, you want to shoot at 30 frames a second. You buy a camera, it will say it can shoot at 30 frames a second. But if you don't have a good video card, you're not going to be able to do that. You're probably only going to be able to shoot up to 10 to 15 frames a second. Your video is going to look choppy and not as good. And have you ever watched a person's video and you have to turn up the volume on your speakers just to hear them? That usually happens because the microphone on your web camera, it's very tiny. So you may opt to get an external microphone. You can get one like this, but then you're going to need a good sound card in your computer. Or you could use one like this, a USB microphone. I got for about $50 that records in stereo. But this is not necessary. Most people will opt to just get a 10 to $15 computer microphone that you can get at like your electronics or office supply store. But these won't necessarily improve your sound quality. So it's all optional. Only if you really feel you need it. And so with any web camera, they'll try to offer you neat little gimmicks. Like face tracking. Where it will track your face across the screen. Which is cool. Or digital zoom. But digital zoom, what it does is it's like an optical zoom, but instead it just blows up the picture. And it will look more pixelated, and it's not that great. It's just a feature that's not really useful. And when it comes down to the camera you buy, it doesn't really matter how much it costs, but getting about a $50 web camera should be good enough. You should be able to get something like this that's like a $50 web camera, easily on sale for 30 bucks at your local electronic or office supply store. Or you can easily get one for no more than about $30 if you go to eBay.